welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa Rodriguez and I'm an incoming medical student starting in the fall 2020. In today's video, I'm showing you all the results from my application cycle. But I want to show you where I applied, where I got interviews, where I got rejections. And also at the end, I'm showing you where I'm going. And it's really exciting. So if you find this interesting and that it will be helpful, uh, just give me a like and keep watching. process can be and also what went through my mind throughout this nerve-wracking application year. So in alphabetical order, the school that I applied, I applied to 15 schools I sent the primaries. Um, so they were Albert Einstein College of Medicine, Charles E. Smith College of Medicine of Florida Atlantic University, Chicago Medical School at Rosalind Franklin University of Medicine and Science, Drexel University College of Medicine, Florida International University Herbert Wernthaim College of Medicine, Florida State University College of Medicine, Loma Linda University School of Medicine, Nova Southeastern University Dr. Kiran C. Patel College of Allopathic Medicine, Tufts University School of Medicine, Tulane University School of Medicine, USF Health Morsani College of Medicine, University of Central Florida College of Medicine, University of Florida College of Medicine, University of Miami Learner M. M. Miller School of Medicine, and lastly, Virginia Commonwealth University School of Medicine. So from those 15, I only sent 11 secondaries. So the ones that I did not complete were Chicago Rosalind Franklin, Loma Linda University School of Medicine, USF Health Marsani College of Medicine and Virginia Commonwealth University School of Medicine because I was really overwhelmed and at the end I decided that I really wanted to stay in Florida so all the other schools I didn't get to finish the secondaries. I officially applied to 11 medical schools and I'm gonna do another video telling you guys what happens after primaries are submitted because there's a lot of things you gotta do. Your work doesn't end when you submit your primaries. But yeah, it was a, a really stressful time. And now I'm gonna just mention what were my pre-interview rejections. So these are the schools that didn't send me any interviews. I'm gonna send, I'm gonna say the ones that didn't tell me to hold because some schools will tell you just to hold for a long time until the end and then they reject, they reject you. But I'm gonna uh, mention the ones that rejected me pretty quickly. <laughs> and those were FSU, College of Medicine, Tufts, and UF, College of Medicine. And the ones that told me to hold but um, rejected me in the end were Tulane, College of Medicine, Albert Einstein, and University of Miami, College of Medicine. So yeah, now for interview invites. So I got four interview invites and I'm gonna tell you in the order in which I received them. And I received um, my first one, I'm gonna tell you the day that I went to the interview, not the day that I actually received it, but yeah. October, I received an interview for FIU, Herbert Wertheim College of Medicine. And then in November, I received the NOVA MD program, um, College of Allopathic Medicine. Then in January, I received U UCF, University of Central Florida. And then my last one was FAU College of Medicine in February. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I did receive an interview invite from Drexel College of Medicine, but by that time I had already an acceptance uh, in the Florida schools, which I wanted to stay. So I decided not to go to the Drexel interview, even though I really, really love the school. But yeah, um, they also sent me an interview around, I think, January. Now I'm gonna tell you my post-interview results. So from those interviews, I went to four interviews in total. They turned into one acceptance, 
and three waitlist. Why I'm telling you this is because you gotta just hold on there. Your waitlist doesn't mean that you're not getting in and you just gotta be patient, build resilience during this time because two of those waitlists turn into acceptances. So by the end, I had three acceptances and they were from UCF, Nova MD program, and lastly, FAU, uh, Charles E. Smith College of Medicine. And FIU, um, I still had a wait list. And I'm just saying this process can be so, so, so random because FIU was my first interview. That's the one that I most expected to get in. And it was also my alma mater. I went to undergrad at FIU here in Miami. And I actually was on the wait list and never got accepted. And now I just committed to another school. So they are, I, don't, I, I will never know if I will have gotten accepted into that school. So from those three schools that accepted me, I really love all of those threes. And I felt so, 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 so grateful for even having one of those chances. And here, I'm telling you guys the real truth. I got my first acceptance in January. So from all of these months of wait time, I, need, I, I needed a lot of strength, you know, because I thought I was ready to also prepare to apply or reapply again if I had to. So this is how long it could take until January to receive an acceptance. So I'm just asking you guys to hold on there. Be very patient in this time and just the waiting game. And I'm gonna tell you guys what you can do in this time because there is some things you can do to increase your chances of getting those interview invites um, during that wait time. But um, overall, you should just focus on doing things that you enjoy, other things that if you're taking a gap year, try to do things that you can add to your application as an update and just try to distract yourself from this very long wait time so that you don't think about it that much. <laughs> and if you wanna know a little bit more of how I got into medical school, I'm gonna post the video in the iCard and also in my suggestion page. And also uh, you can take a look at my entire primary application, my ANCAS application in another video that I have got in my channel too. And now I'm gonna tell you guys where I am going to school in the fall 2020. Um, bro, please. So I am going to the FAU Charles E. Smith College of Medicine. Yay! I'm so excited, guys. You, I, like, I still can't believe that I'm gonna start my medical school career in less than a month already. So I am really, really happy. And I'm gonna make another video on how to choose which schools to apply and also how to choose between schools if you are if you get multiple acceptances. And yeah, but mainly my decision making process was based on one mentorship opportunities. I love that that my class is a really, really small class that has more chances of getting mentorship. Uh, the location, I really, really wanted to stay uh, close to my parents. I'm a very family-oriented person and I just, I was deciding at the, at the very end between two schools and that was the decision, you know, the decision factor and I just needed to stay relatively close. Not even if I stayed like in the same city, but very close. Also, I was looking at the tuition and finances and I wanted to um, just choose the school that I was going to uh, get the least amount of loans possible so that I can be uh, financially free in the least time. So that's another um, you know, factor to take into account. I just wanted to say I feel so grateful for having just the option of choosing between medical schools and if you do get multiple acceptances, please, 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 please try to make uh, your decision as soon as possible, at least by the April 30 deadline because um, I had the experience of being in a waitlist and it's really, really just, it feels bad. I know how, how it feels and by you letting go, I know it's really sad to let go of a school that you really, really liked, but by you letting go, you're opening the door to another 
really deserving medical applicant that can enter and can know that day and you don't know how happy that decision can make them feel. If you're applying this cycle, I wish you the best, best, best of luck. Be patient, be on the lookout for another video that I'm gonna tell you what you can do throughout this wait time and just enjoy the process. Enjoy um, being in the cycle and having a chance and just be happy about it. Be grateful for, for the opportunity to be ready to just apply. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please don't forget to give a like. Also, subscribe and comment down below any questions you might have, any recommendations you have for this channel. I want to just be a resource for you guys so that you can do better in the next application year. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.